Yeah, I think it is it's very, very clear. And uh, we shouldn't have even waited for this matter to have been sent to court for a judgment to be made. It should have been clear to our chief. Because if you look at the role of our chief, they are supposed to be very neutral and absolutely neutral. Let me just draw your attention to some of the functions of our team. Just few of them. They are supposed to be in control of the maintenance of our culture. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to maintain culture and you've divided your people on partisan lines, where do you start? They are supposed to be the head of government of the entire jurisdiction. And they are supposed to be the head of the judiciary. Mm -hmm. So all matters, disputes are sent to the chief party. So just picture a chief who belongs to party A and uh, he's presiding over issues that are affecting party A and B. How will the other party that is not on the part of the chief feel? So from the starting point, it is clear that chiefs should move themselves, walk away from anything about politics. If you're a chief and you want to be a politician, yes, tell your, your people that now I want to put the stool or skin down and I want to be in politics. Then you can do that. Insofar as you are the occupant of the stool or the pin, please move away from this particular. Well, the moment you say, I and my people will support your candidate, you're rightly saying that, okay, then those who are not supporting this, this kind of politician are becoming my enemy. So if you are the head of the security of the place, you are the commander in chief, next time, if you want to rally them to be behind you, to go to fight in those days, will they be ready? Will all of them be ready? Mm -hmm. No.